Hi everyone and welcome to Ask My Tablet, the show where you send in the questions and I ask my tablet. It's just, that's the way it goes. So in the comments, leave me some, some questions for the next show. All right, uh, these first are from Colleen C. Alexa, when was the first pizza made in the United States? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, in 1905, Gennaro Lombardi opened the first pizzeria in the United States, selling pizza at his street front shop in Manhattan, located in a booming Italian-American neighborhood. Lombardi's is still in operation today. Wow. Did that answer your question? Yes, thank you so much. Thanks for your feedback. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Alexa, how many high school graduates will there be in the U.S. this year, 2021? Hmm, I don't know that one. I was kind of, I'm, I was kind of afraid that she might not know that one. Um, because I, well, there was another question, um, one other time, something about high school, something. I think it was about high school football or something. She wouldn't. Okay, Alexa. How many homeowners are there in the United States? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the homeownership rate is 65.3%. Owner-occupied housing units made up 57.9% of total housing units, while renter-occupied units made up 30.7% of the inventory in the first quarter of 2020 according to the U.S. Census Bureau. I guess I don't have any... Uh facts yet for 2021 but wow 65.3 percent okay here's some from california karen 789 alexa what year did cars come out with air conditioners here's something i found on the web according to carbykeytech.com in the 60s the car air conditioner was considered a luxury so in the 60s? And that's kind of a wide range, though. Alexa, when was the first car air conditioner made? Here's something I found on the internet. The first patent for air conditioning was granted to Willis Carrier in that's 1906. That's just for regular air conditioning. That's not for a car. Because we were uh, talking about that one before. Okay, well, she's just not going to give a straight answer on that, uh, Karen. Alexa, how many books did George Orwell write? George Orwell wrote at least 35 books, including 1984, Animal Farm, and Animal Farm, 1984. There's George. All right. Alexa. When did Western Union go into business? Here's something I found on the web. According to agentlocator.biz, Western Union was founded in 1851. Wow, before the Civil War. I mean, quite a bit before the Civil War. Okay. Alexa, how old are Goodyear Tires? Goodyear Tires was founded on August 29, 1898 by Frank Cyberling. It is 122 years old. Wow. I didn't know that. It was that old. Okay, here's a couple from Kim. Alexa, how long does a domestic horse live? The average lifespan of a horse is 20 years. She She's not going to... I'll ask her the next one, but I think that's what she's going to say. Is saying, show some horsey pictures. Okay. Alexa, how long does a wild horse live? The lifespan of a horse, feral, is 25 to 30 years. So it's a little... Would it be a little bit less? Did she say just 30 for domestic ones? Maybe domestic ones because they get more veterinary care you know well they the wild ones wouldn't get any veterinary care that might be it 
Okay, so at least she did say something different. I thought she would say the same exact thing. Here's a couple from Miss Southern Belle. Alexa, how many eyes are on a dollar bill? Here's something I found on the web. According to Forteana.org, the dollar bill pyramid has 13 layers and add to that the eye of Shiva and we have 14. 14? That seems like a lot. Okay, um, Alexa, how many stomachs does a cow have? A cow has one stomach. Would you like to enable the zookeeper skill and hear what a cow sounds like? No, I know what one sounds like. I don't think so. Moo. Okay, he has one stomach. I thought they had more than one or something. Here's some, the rest are from Bon Swanson. Alexa, what was the mini ice age? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, there is no consensus regarding the time when the Little Ice Age began. However, it has been conventionally defined as a period extending from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Some experts prefer an alternative time span from about 1,300 to about 1850. Is the Little Ice Age? Must have been cold, huh? Let's see. Alexa? How loud was Krakatoa's explosion? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the Krakatoa explosion registered 172 decibels at 100 miles from the source. That would be like a loud concert. Rock concert. <laughs> That's about right. Okay. Alexa, when did birds gain flight? Here's something I found on the web. According to wikipedia.org, in March 2018, scientists reported that Archaeopteryx was likely capable of flight, but in a manner substantially different from that of modern birds. That's not... <laughs> uh, when did the first, first bird fly? How about this? Alexa, when did the first bird fly? July 1st, 2013. <laughs> I don't think she... <laughs> First it was 20... What? 18? Uh, I don't know what else to put it to her. <laughs> what year did the first bird learn to fly? Alexa, what year did the first bird learn to fly? This might answer your question. Learn to Fly was released on October 18th, 1999. <laughs> no thanks. Okay, we'll go on. Huh. Alexa, what was the first life form on Earth? Here's something I found on the web. According to Ouija.com, stromatolites, made by cyanobacteria, were some of the earliest forms of life on Earth. Mmm, them stromatolites. All right. Alexa, what are the Voyager Golden Records? The Voyager Golden Records are two phonograph records that were included aboard both Voyager spacecraft launched in 1977. Wow, gold records, real gold records. Alexa, what is the wow signal? According to Wikipedia, the wow signal was a strong narrowband radio signal received on August 15, 1977, by Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope in the United States, and used to support the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The signal appeared to come from the direction of the constellation Sagittarius and bore the expected hallmarks of extraterrestrial origin. Okay. It's interesting. Alexa, how many layers does the Earth have? Earth has four layers. Four layers. Okay. Let me see. Uh, Alexa, what are the names of the Earth's four layers? Here's something I found on the web. 
According to Blurtit.com, the mantle, crust, inner core, and outer core are the four layers under the Earth's surface. There you go. There's a little more information. Alexa, how many gallons of water are there on Earth? Here's something I found on the web. According to Quora.com, roughly 326 million trillion gallons of water are on the Earth. Million trillion. A million trillions. Wow. Okay. Alexa, how long would it take to walk all the earth all the way around the earth? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the average person walks about three miles per hour. Walking around the earth at the equator would take eight thousand three hundred thirty three point three hours. <laughs> approximately two years walking twelve hours a day. Wow. Two years, that seems like, you know, not that long, I guess, but that'd be hard. Okay, now, I haven't turned this off today. Let's see if she'll do a story anyway. Alexa, tell me a story. Canned Destiny. He had been purchased on clearance the day after last Thanksgiving. That's and for 12 long months, cranberry. he'd seen other non-perishables come and go. Why is corn an acceptable side all year long when delicious cranberry sauce is good only one day of the year? He couldn't figure it out, but that didn't matter now. All year I've waited to fulfill my destiny, thought the cranberry sauce. And finally, Thanksgiving is here. The dinner bell rang, and footsteps were approaching. Through the door, he heard a voice ask, Hey, hon, where's the cranberry sauce? And then someone responded, Oh, don't worry about it. I made it from scratch this year. No, thought the cranberry sauce. I cannot survive another year in here. I never expire, but still. Just then, the pantry door creaked open. The voice replied, Homemade? That's a little fancy for me. I like the canned stuff. Hooray! The light flicked on. A hand reached for the cranberry sauce and picked him up off the shelf. Arrivederci, said the cranberry sauce to the other cans. Now it's my time to shine. And with an emphatic kerplop onto a plate, he did. She did that one the other day. But she did one we hadn't even ever, I've never heard her do. Uh, I think it was a few, a few days ago I did this one. I mean, did the Ask My Tablet. Let's see if she'll do a different song then. I'm afraid she'll probably do the same ones, but let's see. Alexa, sing me a song. Shirley Chisholm was elected to the U.S. Congress. First African-American woman to have done this. Sat seven terms in the House of Representatives. In 72, she ran to be the president. After leaving Congress, went back to education, continuing her service to our fortunate nation. Unbought and unbossed was her famous declaration. Let's thank Shirley Chisholm for all the inspiration. That's a good one. I think I have heard that one before, though, but she hasn't done that one in a long time. Let's get a joke or two. Alexa, tell me a joke. What is a pirate's favorite animal? Arg. Varks. Arg varks. <laughs> Alexa, tell me a joke. Why was the sand wet? Because the seaweed. <laughs> okay, everybody. That's going to be it for today's Ask My Tablet. I hope you enjoyed it. Please press that like button. I just felt kitty running against me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that. So you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with someone, please. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the morning at Morning Devotions. God bless everyone and bye-bye.